Howdy hackers! Will I be able to remove my spider security tag using alligator clips? Let's find out! I recently purchased some spider tags from eBay for security research purposes, so here is my disclaimer. This video is for educational purposes only. Spider tags are security devices used by stores to help prevent loss of inventory. They work using two different deterrents. One is electronic article surveillance, which sets off those store alarms when you leave through the door sensors. The other method is an embedded alarm that will go off when the cable is cut, alerting people in proximity that you're doing something wrong. Here's what it looks and sounds like when you cut one of these spider tags. So my hypothesis is that the embedded spider tag alarm uses electrical continuity through the cable to determine the status of that cable. The way I'm going to test this hypothesis is to provide continuity by exposing the bare wire and jumping the circuit with alligator clips. Then I think I'll be able to cut behind the clips and remove the spider tag due to the maintained continuity and increased length of wire. Some people think that the spider tag can also detect when the tension changes when the cable is cut, so maybe a bypass method like this will not work. So we'll be indirectly testing that idea as well. Hooray for testing multiple hypotheses at the same time! First, I'll need to use wire strippers to expose the bare wire underneath the coating. For this spider tag model, I'll be using the setting for a 22 American wire gauge. I place the wire strippers around the cord and use extra caution in order to not accidentally cut the wire. I grip the spider tag and it takes a great bit of force to expose the wire because it's aircraft grade cable, so it's a little more difficult to strip the normal wire. After that side is done, I move on to the other side and repeat the process. Here you can see the two areas of wire that I've exposed using the wire strippers. The next step is to place the alligator clips on each section of the exposed wire to maintain that electrical continuity. I need to make sure that these clips are secure. If they are loose or slip, then my experiment might fail. So I'm double checking and tugging a bit just to be on the safe side. And the final step is to cut the wire behind the clips. Is this crazy experiment going to work? Here goes nothing. Science! There is no loud alarm or rapid blinking of the LED. I'm able to slide my spider tag right off my box. And here is what it looks like now. As long as I keep the alligator clips attached, it remains functional. Well, electrically speaking. This tag may no longer secure a box, but I can still experiment with it. So what other methods should I try? I have a few more of these in order to conduct more research. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this, and have a wonderful day!